The built heritage of Ireland's towns and cities surrounds us, recognisable in our historic buildings and the place names we use. Less obvious clues to the past are held in the shapes of our streets and the histories held in old documents and maps. The Irish Historic Towns Atlas of Cork is coming soon, digitally in November 2023 and in print in 2024. It brings together a range of sources promising to reveal Cork City and its unique heritage in a new and special way. From the 7th century onwards, Cork has been recorded consistently as Corkig, meaning marsh. The powerful River Lee and its two channels provided both possibility and a universal challenge, how to cross safely. Two bridging points and the earliest routeways have persisted from early times. Cork's origins are monastic. An early Christian monastery associated with St Finbar was reputedly founded in 623 AD. By the 12th century, this had become a cathedral. St Finbar's has been rebuilt on three occasions, in the mid 12th century, in the 18th century, and finally in about 1870, in the neo-Gothic style that we are familiar with today. The layout of nearby streets indicates that enclosures surrounded the original monastery, but unusually, the cathedral was situated in the southern suburbs of the expanding town. A harbour lay at the core of medieval Cork, on the site of present-day Castle Street. The harbour entrance, protected by a movable marine gate, was flanked by the King's Castle and the Queen's Castle. Along with the further 15 towers, these formed part of Cork's Anglo-Norman town walls. We know where these lay on the basis of early maps, written records and recent archaeology. Protected by its natural waterways and man-made defences, Cork remained unscathed until the Williamite siege of 1690 and a period of impressive urban development followed. This is visible to us in John Butt's oil on canvas view from Audley Place in about 1750, perhaps the most iconic depiction of 18th century Cork. Commercial and industrial growth was concentrated in the northern suburbs and new and prestigious buildings were developed throughout the city like the Custom House, built in 1720-25, to 25, now home to the Crawford Municipal Art Gallery, where the painting itself now hangs. By 1750, Corkonians, through their enterprising labour, have made a city of their town. That city, port and harbour, continued to thrive, attracting depictions by numerous artists from the later 18th century. With photographic collections, capturing a varied city life from the 19th century on. The Irish Historic Towns Atlas of Cork City by Professor Howard Clark and Moira Neely has involved a trawl of documentary and cartographic sources across the archives, libraries and museums in Cork City and further afield. References have been extracted from sources and pieced together to tell the story of over 10,000 sites. For the first time, a rich collection of historic maps is brought together, complemented by paintings, views and photographs from numerous repositories, providing a visual record, many of which you see throughout this video. Cork City joins 28 other towns and cities across Ireland that have been published in the Irish Historic Towns Atlas or IHTA series and almost 600 published internationally in the wider scheme that covers 19 European countries. The IHTA is a research programme of the Royal Irish Academy, based in Dawson Street, Dublin. It was established in the early 1980s to record our urban heritage in a comparative way, facilitated by producing maps at standard scales. An interdisciplinary team of academics and researchers collaborate in the process of editing and creating historic town atlases for print and online output. Authors collect references from primary sources. These are edited and arranged into categories. 
reflecting the functions of our towns and cities. Thematic maps, produced in-house, highlight particular aspects of development. Recent developments see IHTA Digital using the latest mapping technologies for Atlas production and digital preservation of contents for the future through the Digital Repository of Ireland. A major development is the release of the Digital Atlas of Cork in November 2023. The first fully integrated and most advanced IHTA digital to date, thanks to research and development facilitated by a grant from the Heritage Council in 2023. It is freely available to use on any digital device. You can navigate the atlas, finding your place by panning and zooming. Layers of maps include a bespoke map of the city in 1842 and the Ordnance Survey town plans and valuation office maps on which it is based. It has been possible to map over 6,000 of the researched sites. You can search for specific sites, browse at your leisure, clicking on any given point to get the historical details of that feature, or by choosing specific dates and themes, you can make your own map and perhaps find new avenues of inspiration in this unique, enduring and historic city.